What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. <laughs> Twenty twenty one, and here is our mug for twenty twenty one revolution of love. It's cool, isn't it? By the way, everybody needs to be wearing a shirt, and uh, because I think this is an important message as we go forward, don't you? Twenty twenty one, the year of love. Mm -hmm. And before you forget, don't don't forget our new poster right here. I see who I am. God sees who I am becoming. Isn't that cool? And of course, we have the free download of the poster right yeah. here. We are metal. We are family dot com. So. Thank you for joining me today. And there's a lot of things I'd like to chat about. And I guess the first thing I need to explain is where have you been, Pastor Bob? <laughs> well, it's been uh, it's been an interesting four months, let me tell you. And um, last week I actually had my prostate removed. I know. So uh, I know this is disappointing, but I'm not going to be able to father any children anymore. Yeah, not that I ever have. And then somebody reminded me, you have children all over the world. You have the biggest family we know of. And you know, I love that part. But this is um, something I've had to do. And it's uh, I'm still pretty sore and still healing. And it's, you know, very intrusive surgery. So, um, but I'm happy to be on the other side of it, honestly. Happy to be recovering on a... You know, I'm transparent, you know that. I've been wearing a catheter for four months, four months. All the guys are going, mm, yeah. <laughs> and finally had it taken out yesterday. <sighs> Feels so good to have all that behind me. It really does. So it's a new day. It's a, a new day for me. And I'm excited to get going with 2021. Yes. So again, thank you for your prayers during this time. By the way, the prostate wasn't cancer. It was just a problem with that part of my body. And so um, it just had to happen. And that's the way it is. I want to tell you that, uh, you know, these days, Social media is not kind to any of us, especially people who are political, especially on the right, and those of us who are trying to get the word out about Jesus Christ, we've been ramped down. And instead of tens of thousands of people watching my podcast every day, I'm down to about a hundred. I've been ramped way down and uh because they don't like my videos, they have taken away my ability to boost anything. So what I have right now is all I can do. And unless you look for my videos, you won't find them. I'm not uh, in the algorithms anymore and there's no way to be. Uh, it's their decision, not mine. And uh, YouTube is probably a better place to find me if you like and subscribe there. But I wanted to tell you that very soon, and we're working on it right now, on our website, I'm going to start an email list and I'll be doing a, a weekly email that I'll send out to everybody. And it's going to be kind of a cool Pastor Bob club. I know. And uh, we're building it right now. But in the meantime, if something should happen to this channel and people are being taken down all the time, and I, I guess that's probably the next step, um, sanctuaryinternational.com. It's easy. And that's our website and we will be up there. You can actually go and look at my videos there. And uh, if something should happen here, then there you go. Well, there's a lot of unrest in the world today and you don't have to look very far to see that, do you? 
And there's a lot of people who are fighting with each other. There are people who have unfriended me simply because they don't like where I stand on politics and a lot of things, and I'm really not even vocal about it. But there are people, Christians, people who have been Christians for years that uh, say they can't trust me anymore because I don't have their opinion. And it's really becoming a problem internationally, isn't it? So what do we do with that? What do we do with unrest? Well, I do the best to keep up with my friendships. I haven't always been good at it, but these days it's so important to me. And uh, for the last couple of decades, I've really worked hard at it to reestablish some of the older ones and make sure that the, the ones that I presently have are vibrant and, and that they are productive. Um, but what do you do with the unrest around us? What do you do with people who are stifling your ability to present the gospel? Because that's happening internationally. And we're hoping that will all change at some point, but it is a problem. And we understand, folks, that as we look at unrest, we know that Jesus is the only answer. And what is your role? If you've been watching my podcast for any amount of time, you know what I'm about to say. Love, love, love. It's in our mug. It's part of the revolution a revolution of love, and nothing else is going to get us out of this hole that we're in, this rut that we're in, but the love of Jesus Christ. Love God, love others, love you. So have you made plans for the year? Have you decided how your love is going forward and how the love of Jesus Christ, agape, is about to change lives around you because of you. Mm-hmm. I want to turn today to Luke chapter 19. If you have your Bibles, Luke chapter 19, the first 10 verses. We're going to read a few because this is so good. And uh, Luke uh, here is a, is a great example of a man named Zacchaeus. Let's read. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. And there was a man named Zacchaeus. Great name. Don't name your kids that, by the way. He was a chief tax collector, a superintendent to whom others reported, and he was rich. Now, we know people like this, don't we? Governments are like this. Zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus was, but he couldn't see because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. Now, some of you who have been raised in the church, that song is going through your head. I know, because I learned it as a very young child. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And when the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Raise your hand. How many of you learned that song growing up? It's a great song. So I, it's hard to read the scripture without Zacchaeus because it's in my head. So he ran ahead of the crowd and climbed up in a sycamore tree in order to see him, for he was about to pass through that way. And when Jesus reached the place, he looked up and said to Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for today I must stay at your house. I love that. If you can't beat them, join them. You know, I've had people that say, I'm not going to come to the Bible study anymore. And I said, well, I'm really sorry to hear that. But next week we're meeting at your house. <laughs> I've done that. When I know that people need to be there and they need the, the fellowship. But anyway, that's kind of what he's doing. You know, come down. I'm staying at your house, Zacchaeus. You're not getting away. 
But what did Zacchaeus do? He said, oh, no, 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 no. I, it's one thing viewing you. It's another thing having you at my house. I'm not so sure I want to do that. And it says, so Zacchaeus hurried and came down and welcomed Jesus with joy. Now, this is a tax collector. This is the guy that people hated. This is the guy that was used to people hating him. And this is the guy that had pretty strong skin. That's what it takes to be a tax collector like this. You have to be able to weather people who dislike you. So you kind of have a, a tough exterior. But all of a sudden Zacchaeus melts. Why? Because it's Jesus. He has an encounter with God. Zacchaeus hurried down, welcomed Jesus with joy. Not just welcomed him, not just said, okay, if I have to, with joy. And when the people saw it, they all began muttering in discontent. They didn't like Zacchaeus. He has gone to be the guest of a man who is a notorious sinner. How many times have you heard that one? How many times have I heard that one? Yeah. You shouldn't be associating with those people. You don't know what they do. You shouldn't be associating with those prostitutes, those street people, those drug dealers, human traffickers. I've sat down and talked to all of them all over the world. And it's always been rich because you see people are hungry. They're searching. And people didn't understand. He should just be talking to the good people, not the bad people. And Jesus understood that. And here's a guy that really needed him. Here's a guy that was really ready to change if you just give him a chance. Here is your neighbor. Here's the guy down the street. Here's the guy at that business you go to every day. Here's the guy at the coffee shop. Here's the guy. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, See, Lord, I am now giving half of my possessions to the poor, and if I've cheated anyone out of anything, I will give back four times as much. Wow, what a change of heart. Instead of ripping people off, now he's ready to give back to them. And Jesus said to him, Listen, today salvation has come to this household because he, too, is a spiritual son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Folks, all around us, this world is lost. It's lost. It is lost. And our answer isn't political. Our answer isn't adjustment in governments or any of that. Our answer is Jesus Christ. Agape love, 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 revolutionary love. You need to have one of these. You really do. Look at it every morning, wear the shirt, tell people this is a revolution of love. This is why we're here. What better way than through revolution in 2021? Revolution of the heart. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. You and I are blessed. Blessed. We have so much ahead of us in 2021. So many great things. And it's an opportunity for us to begin to impact the world in a way that they don't necessarily realize they need to be impacted. But if God can touch someone like Zacchaeus, and there are Zacchaeuses all around us, he can touch those people in your life too. Be ready, be open, love, love, love. You are blessed, so go and be a blessing.